Liverpool second, a point behind Man City, but three ahead of third place Chelsea, who, as I mentioned, dropped points once again. That's two wins in their last six in all competitions. This time, Craig, it was to an understrength Everton. 1 1 at finish, Mason Mount scoring for the fourth game in a row to put Chelsea ahead, but Jared Branthwaite found the equaliser. Chelsea should have been able to see this one out, shouldn't they? Well, they can't keep saying that. They keep saying that they're not going to win the league. They're not going to come close to winning the league. Can't keep a clean sheet anymore. Uh, how many times recently have we seen them dominate games but can't kill teams off? And yeah, I mean, they, they've got injuries and they had issues with COVID. But Everton were depleted as well, so they can't, can't blame that. I don't like Pulisic through the middle. I just don't think that suits them, try to play that role. Uh, I think he's better in a wide position. Uh, and they're not taking their chances. It's a big problem for them and at the moment. They are off the pace in terms of winning this Premier League. Look, is it any surprise Everton sat in? No, it's not. No. That's the way, that's the way they are. That's, that's what their level is at the moment. So, this last month has been a big problem for Chelsea. A 23 shots on goal and just the goal that you scored. Yeah, but the same, they, they, they're Manchester very similar against it. Man United at home and, and Burnley. Uh, so this is a recurring theme now. Look, COVID has taken its issues with Chelsea and, and maybe that showed or, or didn't in, in the early part. Chelsea should have been three or four up within 15 minutes. And, and, and that's just the honest truth. Rhys James had a golden opportunity, as did Mount. Pulisic more, more half chance. Had one of those gone in, all of a sudden, Everton have to, have to adjust and play differently because quite clearly Rafa Benitez just come to frustrate Chelsea for as long as they could. Finally, Mount breaks the deadlock, and in, in fairness to, to Chelsea and their rear guard, it was a delightful cross to, to, to pick out Branthwaite in the far post. But given Chelsea's own physicality, why is Branthwaite allowed to kind of just drift in, almost untouched at the far post? That part is, is beyond me, but take nothing away from, from Everton, and certainly that, that one set piece. But Chelsea have been on the way, and, and they only have themselves to blame, because as I mentioned, they had more enough opportunities to have this game be over as a contest within the first 15 minutes. Frank, are you concerned about your former club at the moment and their form? I am, I am, and I've been, uh, I've been like that for a while because I think uh, they are lacking of creativity, they are lacking of uh, uh, pace, they can't change the pace of the game, they, uh, they keep the same rhythm. Okay, they made seven, 700 passes, but who cares, you know, if it doesn't bring anything. And, and like, I'm like with the guys, you know, um, there are too many chances to come to uh, the excuses of the injuries of some players or, uh, or COVID uh, issues. Uh, to complain about because really they had everything they needed to to win that game but they didn't do it for a lack of uh, for um, clumsiness and uh, and I would say the, uh, and I would say because uh, they couldn't change the pace of the game it's been like that for a while there has to be change I think uh, it's an emergency for N'Golo Kante to come back in the middle of the park to get the transition when they get the ball back, to come back to the game to ensure also the uh, defensive aspect of the game because they've been conceding too many goals uh, lately where they've been the best defence before that. Can they have any excuses, Don? Not really. Not when you look at that side, Kay, and you look at the depleted side that Everton and Rafa Benitez put out tonight. You had loads of youngsters and Everton weren't hit with COVID. They'd just been hit with so many injuries. So I looked at the Everton team as they were lining up, and I thought, oh, this could be a big scoreline for Chelsea. Uh, for Chelsea, I thought they'd be too good, and they should have been too good. But like Craig said, the warning signs have been there. They drew when they batted Burnley. They drew when they batted Man United. They're a strange team all of a sudden, Chelsea. I don't know if they've lost, lost a little bit of spark, but at the start of the season, you could rely on clean sheets. You could rely on midfield players. Yes, there's one or two missing, but I can't give Chelsea an out, really, when you look at that 11 compared to Everton's. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.